Sergio Miranda works in what he calls a gay-friendly hotel in the historic district of Montevideo. He has fought for equality since the 80s, when Uruguay was under military dictatorship. 20 years ago I would have been put in prison for protesting, and today I can get married. Sergio and his partner, Rodrigo Borda, were the first to register to marry here, when Uruguay became the second South American country to legalize same-sex marriage. Laws determine how society reacts. With this bill, we are feeling support in the streets everywhere. In Russia, a homophobic law is leading to gay people being attacked. August 5th was the day which sparked celebrations when Parliament redefined marriage as the union between two people. It came three years after Argentina became the first South American country to take the highly controversial step. Now, same-sex couples can marry and adopt children. The Catholic Church raised concerns, but most people were behind the change. Federico Graña credits President José Alberto Mujica with tackling controversial issues like gay marriage and legalizing marijuana. The president respects social movements. He says he supports proposals if they're the result of a consensus between a group of people that don't contradict his policies. Human rights activists and NGOs say that Uruguay may be a very small country, but this decision will have huge repercussions in Latin America. And here at the Civil Registration Office of Montevideo, there's huge expectation. People have told us that they think many same-sex couples will be coming in the next day to get married. Sergio and Rodrigo finally got their wedding date assigned after living together 14 years. The slots where couples sign no longer say Don and Doña, Mr. and Mrs., a small detail which marks a huge change. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Montevideo.